guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're having an amazing day uh, i just bought a bunch of stuff for the house from target so i thought i would go ahead and do a haul i'm also probably going to head over to home goods because i need a tv stand um so if i find that i'll throw that into the end of the this isn't a vlog i will throw that in at the end as well and before anyone asks this little dress it's like a maxi dress it's really pretty it's from shoe dazzle and then I just like did my hair by putting them in braids. So simple. So let's get started with bag number one. Also, I'm sorry my air conditioner is on, if you can hear it. It's so hot and the house doesn't have like central air or anything. This house is, um, like I have one air conditioner downstairs and one upstairs and it's actually very well insulated. So I thought I'd have to get way more air conditioners than I don't need to. So first and foremost, I got this cute little plant for outside, fake plant of course, because <laughs> It's me. Hi. So if you have not watched the last vlog yet I would recommend watching that because like I show you guys the patio set up and you can kind of see the vibe and also like the empty house tour I'll link those videos below, but I got this plant for outside. I think it's so cute. It has like Gold detailing at the bottom It's just really pretty and tropical and it fits the vibe in the backyard I just want my patio to be very like tropical and like you're somewhere far away so matching with that for the pool i got this giant palm leaf float like so cute because if you also saw in the vlog all the pillows out there on my patio furniture are like leaves tropical green so and the furniture is like gray and a little bit of wood so i really like that combination for color um then there's also some like boring stuff in here like um glass cleaner again still switching over to all um like more earth friendly products more green products so i'm hosting fourth of july with my family here because now we have a pool and i can't wait to have my family over and my friends and i just moved in less than a week ago when i'm filming this i don't know when this will go up but i'm just like super excited to have like an awesome fun summer so i just picked up some things to use for the fourth of july like all red white and blue like we love this we always play this what is this even called catch ball i don't even know there's i thought there was a name for it i don't know my family always plays this so i got one for me to have um then just like some cute little paper plates your girl bought her first power drill oh my god uh <laughs> This is Black & Decker. This was like one of the cheapest ones they had and they were a lot less expensive than I thought they'd be. I think this was like $25 um, because I have a lot of things I need a power drill for. So when the guy was delivering furniture the other day, I was with my grandma and the assembling, what were we assembling? I think actually the air conditioner and she asked me if he had a power drill and I used it and it's just amazing. It just puts in the nails so fast. I was just like, oh my God, this is why people have power drills. So now I'm going to own a power drill because as you will see soon, there are a lot of things I need to put up. And if you're not subscribed, you probably should because every Sunday I post my weekly vlog where you get to see the house come to life and you get to see me struggle as a new homeowner. It's a lot of fun. How do you get it to stay in place? Do you need two people? So I also had to pick up a couple pairs of earrings, big earring girl. Um, I have these from Bobble Bar at Target already, but I have them with the clear next to the gold and this has like pink. It's so cute. I wear them all the time. And then I got these clear acrylic ones as well. It's like a really fun shape. I'm really into Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar at Target. Like I buy a lot of those earrings. They're so cute. Next bag here. Then I needed some kitchen towels. It's so weird. I've lived, <laughs> this is like, all right, how many, how many times have I moved? Out of my mom's, I moved into that one. First one with Alan. Second one in Boston. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> the third one back there. Da, da, da. This is the fifth place I've lived and I've probably owned like four kitchen towels. Why? I don't know. So I bought these from Target. These are from Project 62. They're like really good quality and I just, I love like gray and white, like neutral colors. So then you can always switch it up and you don't have to be committed to any specific pattern or color in your house. I got a bunch of cute pajamas. I'll show you guys at the end, but I want to show you guys the house stuff first. Then I grabbed this bath mat for the downstairs bathroom. Um, because that bathroom it has a lot of like blue in there and I just wanted it to feel very calm and I needed a new bath mat for it because I got bleach on the last one and it was like a dark navy color 
And then I got a bunch of hand towels. I love the texture on these. I think they're so pretty and lush. Um, I know white is not the best color for hand towels, but um, you know, <laughs> I'm just gonna have to wash them a lot because I just love how they look. And again, it's like neutral. I've had dark gray ones forever and I just, I never love the way they look. I just think these look so crisp and fresh um, and bright for summer. And then I also got some matching towels with the same texture as well. So I'm also gonna share a little fat girl life hack for you at the end of this video, so stay tuned. And the next bag, oh, I thought this was really cute for chips and dip on the fourth. Like it even has this little container cover, so that'll be fun. It's really weird to like host my first family party. It's like, I, I, can't, I don't know, it feels weird, but I'm excited. And then I got a bunch of knobby dupes, <laughs> Kelly, if you're watching, for just like hanging so many different things. So this first one here is from Threshold and it's a brass finish knob. What do they call this? A hook. <laughs> So this is gonna go in my bathroom upstairs. This is another reason I bought a power drill. Maybe I'll show you at the end of this video. Uh, stay tuned. Watch me use a power drill for the first time. Actually, it's not the first time, but like by myself, it'll be the first time. So this just goes into the wall and then it has like, you know, it's cute. I think it'll go well in the bathroom because right now I literally just put a nail in the wall to hang stuff on because I don't have anything. And then I got this little hanging it's kind of like a key organizer i think they call it a key rail but i'm gonna put this in my bathroom for necklaces because i have i have like five necklaces i rotate between and moving i don't even uh, i don't even want to think about detangling them because they are a hot mess so i'm gonna hang my necklaces off of here i just want to be so wildly organized in this house i got rid of so much stuff before i moved and just purged and just like really minimized what i have because it's just like too much stuff like i don't want to i don't it, it just feels so good to declutter minimize i don't know then uh, i got another lighter for candles and then i got this hook for my wreath on the front door because right now it's just being hung up by a nail and i'm 99 percent sure it's gonna fall off really soon just another usb cord i feel like all my friends or like several of them have a usb cord for charging their phone like by their couch, like just all there all the time. Cause I have one, <laughs> I have one iPhone charger and like now that it's upstairs and downstairs, I just need to have one downstairs. I don't know why I'm like justifying and explaining that, that's really boring. <laughs> and I got some regular command hooks because I put up these really pretty like twinkly star lights outside and they look so nice at night on the patio, but the tape ain't holding and they keep falling down. So. <laughs> whatever i'm learning i'm learning a lot honestly like the first this was my first week of home owning and i learned a lot so still learning all right so let me just go through some of the cute little pj moments i had <laughs> cute pj moments i had or i bought i'm obsessed guys if you haven't tried yet i have bought so much from the stars above line at target it is so soft like almost Half my pajamas right now are from there because they're so comfortable. They go up to XXL, that's the size I buy. And like first I got this little nighty, but it is the softest material ever. And then the back, I love the back because it has like this really pretty lace on each side. So what do they call this? Beautifully soft fabric. I don't even know. It's just like soft and cozy and magical. And then I picked up, cause like it's soft but not hot. Cause I can't stand when pajamas like just leave you hot. I love to be freezing when I sleep. And then I got this little soft, also cropped little tank top to sleep in as well. Also from Stars Above. Oh my God, these pants feel like you are just an angel walking around. These are also from Stars Above. Just kind of like a chill jogger but like perfect lounge around pants these are also perfect lounge around pants and they're like a dusty pink so cute also from stars above <laughs> um i'm obsessed like i love the color i love the ribbing i love the wide leg i think they're gonna be so cozy and then i got this little tank top to go with those pants because it has the same color in the stripe 
that like dusty pink. These are my favorite shorts from them. This will be my second pair. I also have them in the dark gray. It's pouring rain. And they are so comfy. Like this material is everything. So they're really soft and stretchy and cozy. Little droopy pockets I love. I got this really simple piece for like layering clothes. Like I think it would look really cute tucked into like high-waisted shorts. Just like kind of a, an easy basic to have with a pattern. I'm really into like animal print lately. Oh, here's the other towel that I didn't know where it was. Okay, so now that's all I got from Target. Now I'm gonna show you my fat girl life hack for bath towels. All right, I had to move you guys over. So I was balancing you on this Amazon box. So I have been buying the same towels. Do I have a bruise on my arm? I do. I've been buying the same towels from Amazon for like the last few years. I've bought them in different colors. I've bought, this is like, actually, this is like the second set of colors I have, so I'm curious to see how they are, because I normally buy the gray. So these towels, they're awesome. I'll link them below. They are really big. They are 35 by 70, because like, honestly, there's nothing more frustrating than when you get out of the shower and you just want to wrap up in a cozy towel and air dry and your towel is just way too small and you got one boob coming out. So these towels are like so ginorm. I love them. They're just a perfect size. I love them. So these are the ones I always get. I got the navy blue this time because most of my bathroom stuff is like gray, blue, white, and I already have gray. And I lost a couple in the move, unless they're in some box somewhere, I don't know. But I will link these specific ones below. They're the ones I always get. So I 10 out of 10 recommend. So I'm gonna go to Home Goods in a little while, and I will let you guys know if I find a TV stand for them. All right guys, on today's episode of Alex is a homeowner. <laughs> All right, let's hang this knobby dab. What's normal? That's my issue, like what's normal? But I figured out how to use the power drill, which was quite thrilling. Let's see. <laughs> like how do you get it to stay in place whilst drilling? You catching my drift, you know? This is petrifying. Don't wanna fuck up my house. It's too soon to fuck up my house. How do you get it to stay in place? Do you need two people? Do you need two people to power drill? Is that what's happening? I don't wanna hurt myself here, but I feel like I might. Do I need to like tape it up? Maybe I should like tape it up, you know? Like I'm sure you guys are watching right now and you're like, Alex, it's so simple. But like how? <laughs> She's having a mental breakdown. Figured it out. First and foremost, I put a whole, because I wasn't filming this, because like I just, I needed to focus. So if you're learning about this as well, I put a hole in the wall first with this thing, and then it had something to kind of stick it to the wall. And I'm sure a lot of you knew that, and that you were like, Alex, you're doing it wrong. But I think I uh, figured it out, man. I think I figured it out. This is an awkward angle. Oh, that is crooked. Okay. Fun fact, power tools can also go backwards. I learned that today. Thanks, Mom, for always listening on the phone. <laughs> Awkward as shit to put this in. Like, who designed this? A friggin' dude, no doubt. Like, doesn't he know I'm a new homeowner? <laughs> okay, I'm coming in. Still coming in. Ah! Oh, it's crooked. Oh my god, it's crooked. Guys, I also just put this up. Super cute, it matches the hardware and the color so well, just to keep my necklaces organized. Cute, I'm like 
so proud of myself being able to use a power drill. <laughs>